What is up guys, Jack here, and today for you, I have a video showing you White Door 7. So if you are a very, very long member or long-term subscriber of this channel, um, then you will remember I started off by covering White Door 6. And if you are a long-term viewer, definitely comment down below. But this is White Door 7, and as you can see, this is an iPhone 3G, my current phone at the moment, and I'll explain it. If you want to know why it's my current phone, just tweet me and I'll tell you. But basically, this is an iOS 7 mock-up, kind of. Um, it's a fake operating system. It runs on iOS 3, as that's the easiest way to adapt it, but it runs on any unsupported device pretty much, apart from it's the iPhone 2G, iPhone 3G, iPod Touch 1, iPod Touch 2. There's no support for the 3GS or anything like that at the moment, but I'm sure they will in the future. As you can see, you've got a fully functional control center. You've got um, a home screen which looks identical to iOS 7, but the, the, I think the best thing is the control center, just how much they've just pulled that off so well. You've got an adapted camera which looks almost identical to the iOS 7 camera. Um, obviously you don't get the autofocus but you get a fake autofocus. You've also got a very uh, similar music app which this isn't the best polished way but it definitely looks much like the iOS 7 one and it works. It works very well and to be honest it's a very very lag free operating system and considering this is an old device it runs it really optimizes the hardware very well. To talk about the camera, you do actually also get a video capability. So this is done by a Cydia Twig which comes pre-installed. And yes, the whole of the operating system runs jailbroken. Uh, but you don't have to use Cydia if you don't want. Um, and it just works very well. So if we just go into the settings, you can see A, the settings look very, very similar. But you also get this white door configurator, the white door settings. And this allows you to just change your whole device on the fly. So I've actually got the uh, advanced settings enabled. So when you first load this up, if you do, you'll only have two options. You have the features and one other. I think you have the actual advanced tab so you can enable the advanced you can see all these blue ones sort of give you advanced options and all it warns you really is you need to sort of know what you're doing otherwise adverse effects could happen to your device and sort of things like that but it just allows you to really um, maximize the performance so say you find that your folders are slowing down your device you can actually just disable the folders and it just speeds it up so you also have the iOS 7 wallpapers, so you have no live wallpapers, but you do have two stills of what the live wallpapers look like, if that's something that you like. And it's just very, very nice and very in-depth. But anyway, this is a close-up of those app icons. As I said, it's very, very well done. There is no notification center, that's about the only downside of this. Anyway, for a full list of all the features and everything within White Door 7, I'll link you to White Door's website down below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. Comment down below if it's going to breathe some new device into an old device of yours. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.